Pakistan's army has always operated through proxies. And their latest one is the country's prime minister. Imran Khan is being used by Army Chief General Bajwa to legitimize a power grab. The Army Chief has gifted himself an extension of three years. He was supposed to retire in a few months from now. Now he will stay on till 2022 or until the next extension, as the case may be. The selected Prime Minister, as is called, more than backed the extension. The media cheered it. It was supposed to be a cakewalk. It appeared to be until the Bar Council of Pakistan sprung on the scene. Now, as improbable and futile as it sounds, given that we're talking about Pakistan, the Bar Council has stood up to the mighty army. They've written a letter objecting to General Bajwa's term extension. The vice chairman of the council says this isn't a welcome step. He demanded a withdrawal. And that's not all. They've called for the appointment of a new army chief. There are several others who have murmured their objections, but none has spoken so clearly. Now, this letter queers the pitch for the cricketer-turned-politician who has been batting for a selector and de facto boss, the army chief. By all indications, the extension will stay. General Bajwa will be the second chief in a decade who is overstaying in office. Remember, Pakistan has always been ruled by the army overtly and covertly. For half of the country's seven decades, there was a military rule. For the other half, the hidden hand of the army called the shots.